Good day, folks. Chris here of Strata Art Studios. Today's build video is a little different. Um, I was asked if I could do a carved wooden sweater pin. And you can see by the title of the video and the sketch process that you just saw that it was to be a dash hound. After having done all the design work, I printed it out. Uh, but as you can see, my printer cartridge was a little low. So I'm just going back over the design with a marker just so it's a little more visible and easy to see. Now that all the line work is done, I will cut out these pattern pieces and then figure out uh, how they will best lay on uh, the piece of mahogany uh, that I have for it. And then using a glue stick, I will glue these two pieces down and let it dry good so that it's all prepared for when I saw it out. To cut out this little dog, I will simply be using my jeweler saw frame with a wax blade in it. Um, I find that the wax blade with wood works well enough. If you're using just a normal uh, jeweler saw blade, it would have to be uh, bigger and coarse. They tend to bind up when you're working with wood. Whereas the wax saw blade, being a twisted blade, it cuts a wide groove and doesn't gum up as, as easily as just a normal blade would. And I don't have a, a jigsaw or a coping saw or anything like that, which is similar to your jeweler saw anyway, um, and this works for me. Now, you can see that when I cut out the front of the, of the dog and the pin portion, I actually left the tail longer uh, just because I wasn't 100% sure whether or not it would be needed depending on how it, it hooked into a sweater. At this point, leaving the tail a little longer just gave me a safety net in case that I thought that it needed it when I finally was finished. It can always be trimmed down shorter uh, after the fact. This fluid uh, design thought process can be seen right here now where I've decided that the hole for the body uh, for the sweater to pull through needed to be a little larger than what I was originally thinking. So on the fly, because I hadn't cut the body out yet, this allowed me to uh, reshape the body slightly, making it a little wider top to bottom to give more room. So using a couple of different types of coarse burrs, I did some of the original carving work on this, as well as using a coarse file uh, to help round things over. So with all the filing, grinding, shaping work done, um, as you can see, I'm going back in with various types of sanding drums and sandpaper uh, to smooth up the little dog until I'm happy with how it's looking. So once that was all said and done, I gave the final piece a coat of Clapham's Beeswax Salad Bowl Finish, uh, which is a, obviously a beeswax-based uh, finish for wood that I find works really well for, for the different things that I've done over the years. So once again, we're to the end of another video. I hope that you enjoyed this, got something out of it. Uh, I think the final piece turned out really well. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will try to get back to you as quick as I can. I want to thank everyone so much for watching the videos. Until the next one, bye for now.